Welcome to Mamaki's Rasterling tutorial series. In this short movie, I will be demonstrating a couple advanced methods for creating custom white layers and printing options available for both pixel and vector images. I will be creating the files in Photoshop and Illustrator. If you use other programs, the important part is the color mode applied when creating the final print files. Let's begin with the vector image. In Illustrator, I have created this flag using CMYK black squares and white squares with a white to gray gradient. I have already saved this file as a PDF, which you can see here. And vector images are by default CMYK images, so I don't have to change anything in the color mode. I'm going to open it in raster link. Your first option in creating a white layer is to create an automatic layer using the special plate button. You can select white ink and the percentage of white that you want and then select valid pixel to only put ink under uh, color image data. I'm not going to compose it automatically right now. As you can see it's creating a solid layer of white at the percentage selected. However, there are a couple gaps in the middle. This is because the image above does not have any color data in the highlights of the flag. The pixels there are CMYK value 0000. Unless it's a named spot color, Rasterlink will treat zero data color as a transparency. To show you the second method, I'm going to duplicate this file now under the Properties tab, I'm going to change its job attribute properties from full color to mono color. And then I'm going to select white. What this does, it takes all of the black CMYK data and transposes those percentages over to white. If your final print is white only, you can use this method of creating your image in grayscale and then transposing it over to white ink. Now I'm going to show you how to create a special white plate for pixel images. First I'm going to save this color portion because I will be overlaying the images in raster link. So what I'm going to do is take the image of the horse and basically cut out the horse to create a silhouette for the white plate. I'm going to speed up this portion so that I could show you how to apply it at the, on the raster link end. So basically I'm going to use the magic wand tool to extract the horse and then I'm going to use the brush tool to fill in any gaps that may have been created by the wand tool. The important part here is to remember that we need to have this image in CMYK mode. As you can see, the black layer is actually composed of CMYK with very little black. Rasterlink will only take one channel of information. In this case, I'm using black, so I want to convert the silhouette to a 70% black. I will do this by selecting the layer data, and with the Control Delete command, I will use the background swatch color as a fill. Now I'll save this as the white plate. In raster link, I will select both the white and the color plates at the same time to load them.
As you can see under job attributes, there is no monocolor option for the full color image. But there is a monocolor option for the grayscale. I will select the black channel to print white. Now I'm going to duplicate the color image to create a three layer image. Now I'll go into the special plate composition tab and using composite function it will create a three layer or a two sided print. After choosing the profile and choosing the layout options this is ready to print. You can see the layering of the ink here with the detail in the horse being overlaid by white ink. And then below that you can see the second layer of color overlaying the white. For this demonstration, I printed on static clean. As you can see, you can apply this for window graphics, and you can even use it for backlit signage. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Please be sure to check our YouTube channel for more tutorials.